my deliverer from angry nations. You set me above my assailants. You saved me from the violent man, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace, the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, one and all. We gather in prayer here at this table at the Lord's altar. We come remembering one another, seeking the Lord's healing, God's guidance, and mercy. As we continue our Lenten journey, the invitation is each and every day to take up our cross and to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. We do so consciously, and as we do this together, we come trusting in the one who calls us beyond the cross to the glory of Easter and the resurrection, but who calls us each and every day to reconciliation to our, with our God and with one another. It is here where we take the next step, following in the footsteps of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to us in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory, bringing salvation for all who believe in you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us be attentive to the word of the Lord from sacred scripture. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace, and who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, <coughs> praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. 
Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Glory and praise forever. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. And Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication, We have one Father, God. And Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me. For I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And the truth will set you free images of that freedom and what it is that Jesus would share with those who believed in him. And we hear that Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him. But this was a challenge for them, even in their belief, what it was that they were hearing. And forget about the labels of religion, whether it's Jew or Christian or Muslim, whatever, whatever the label may be. If we believe in God, then what is it that we believe of God? And can we see the sacred and that divine hand at work in our world, even in these troubling, uncertain, and confusing times? In what it is that we hear from our first reading today from the book of the prophet Daniel, These were also confusing, troubling, and uncertain times. The people of Israel were in exile once again, finding themselves enslaved once again. And although there's echoes from the Jews who believed in Jesus who said, we've never been anybody's slaves, well, time and time again through the course of history, they were slaves over and over again of the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, over and over again. But still in the course of that, even as they would say those words to Jesus, somehow recognizing that they were never enslaved even to their oppressors and their captors. It's an interesting comment, an interesting stance, that they still saw themselves as free people no matter what, even as Jesus spoke to them, finding themselves once again under the power of Rome and another oppressor. Yet they say, we've been free all this time. It's an interesting statement. 
and hear in what it is that's presented us from the book of the prophet Daniel. Three, whose witness and testimony is very similar, curiously, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Three, who bore witness to the God in whom they placed their faith and trust. Again, before the one who was oppressing them, not only a government, but an individual. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. And here, a people held captive once again would see themselves as free. And not because of any decree from their captor, from their oppressor, but in the one in whom they placed their faith and trust in God. So it's their witness there in the furnace where they would meet their death and their prayer and their testimony. And curiously too, what it is we hear from the king, from Nebuchadnezzar himself, questioning what he was seeing as those three would be put to death because they would not worship another God that was brought forward, but the one who was in their heart and who they reached out to. The one who set them free, not from bodily death, because there in that furnace they would meet their mortal death, but something immortal that had taken place that even Nebuchadnezzar had seen and questioning who is that fourth one there? Because how it is they've been bound, they have no fetters. They're free and there's a fourth that's there with them. And his questioning there again is a testimony of God's presence. It speaks of the angel that was sent to them at that time but how many times through the course of history, it's that angel that really represents for us the divine presence of God. How many times in our own lives and through the course of history, there's been individuals who have walked with us, the very presence of God with us, but we not identifying those individuals in that way. Sometimes they've been called an angel, literally and figuratively, and sometimes individuals whose faces and whose lives are very familiar to us. But in that moment, there God present in those individuals. This was the freedom that they were called to beyond death itself, a freedom to glory, a freedom consumed by God's love, not by the fires of the emperor, of the king, but consumed by God's love and freed forever. It is that freedom of which Jesus speaks to all who are willing to believe, but to trust even beyond what it is that we can see and explain how it is God is work and working through our lives and in this world. We need only look and listen to everything that's stirring around us and that's causing things to stir within us. And are we willing to take up our cross daily and to walk with Jesus? who walks with us, not putting his cross on us, but lifting our crosses from ourselves and from one another, if we're not only willing to believe, but to trust as well. The prayer that's been prayed so many is an appropriate one for this day, for this time and place. Jesus, I trust in you. We bring our petitions to the Lord this day, and I'd ask that we remember in a special way with our prayers that are spoken aloud and those which I invite that you bring from the quiet of your hearts, we unite these together. But in particular to remember individuals this week struggling even with the burial of their loved ones and the situations surrounding the protocols for this virus. We remember in a special way Anthony Vicari and Florence Santoro, Anita Truono. For those who have died just these past days from the coronavirus, from Jimmy Loesch, and for members of the community who we serve, God's special people, particularly vulnerable right now to this disease. From Michael Cortese, Michael Gudierum and Eric Green. And for our families and friends affected 
by this virus. We bring them all to our prayer this day. For all members of the church, may the Lord make us worthy of his call in our lives to serve him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all public officials, may God increase their conviction for upholding the dignity of every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in prison, may the Lord lead them to a freedom found in faithfulness and discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the grace of God free us in pursuing his work and his will above all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially Antoinette and Andrew Lukowskis, whom we remember in this Mass, and for the consolation of their family and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions in our parish intention book, in thanksgiving for answered prayers, and for the intentions we hold in the quiet of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear the prayer we bring before you in faith and in trust. It is you who bid us to come and follow, you who walk with us. Guide us in these uncertain times by the light of your truth and the power of your healing love. May we know that our true freedom resides in you alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, God. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the Holy Church. Amen. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings, which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing in body, mind, and spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue in its rewards, through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving you thanks, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ending, he took the chalice. Once more giving you thanks, he then gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, Paul Gregory, our retired Bishop, Bernabe, the Jesus, the Bishop of our sister diocese of Santa Rosa, and with all who shepherd your church around the world, Remember our sisters, our brothers, who this day seek you in healing, in body, mind, and spirit. Remember, too, those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, your holy apostles, the prophets and patriarchs, and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, o Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Formed by divine teaching and at the Savior's command, with one voice we pray. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God has brought us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people. And as you endow us with confident hope in your compassion, let us feel forever the effects of your mercy. Bless and guide us now and always. You are God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.